So for you guys that have already been on our channel many times and watched our videos, you've seen our coupe, you've seen um, our decisions, you know, deciding to go with that shed instead of this spot. So this is like a little lean-to side um, shelter on the side of our garage. And now that the ducks, they're like almost three weeks old and they're they're getting really big already they're starting to get their tail feathers in a couple other random feathers and they grow really really fast even faster than chicks do and so we're thinking about just getting their duck house ready and soon they'll be coming out this way it's a super windy day in iowa today so i can't really stand out there in the open and talk to you and you may not even hear me right now i'll have to go back and check it out but I'm standing inside this little lean-to spot that's going to be the future duck house. So let me back out a little and show you. I won't talk while the wind's going because it's pretty crazy today. It's actually a warm weather of 51 degrees or something like that today, but the wind is so insane. So let me back out of this lean-to and show you. So I showed you how close the coop is, and then I brought you over and show you where the lean-to is. It's a pretty decent spot, nice and big, plenty for three ducks, or more if we end up getting more, I don't know, we'll see. And we've got a lot of plans in our mind, but basically what, what kind of goals we need to achieve here with the duck house is, one, you know that they poop and eat a lot, a lot, a lot. So we want to make that as easy as possible to feed them and to clean out their poo. Obviously, like, I mean, in my mind, making a concrete floor and just being able to hose it out would be nice, but that's not really ideal for the ducks. So we're going to just look at some different things in here. I'm going to clean out. There's a lot of junk that we've been collecting in here. There you go. Um, just kind of today I'm getting my head wrapped around the idea of this being a duck house. So we'll see what it becomes. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide You guys totally missed the wind just catch all those pink foam and push me up against the garage, take my hat. It was crazy. <laughs> I barely survived. <laughs> So you can kind of see, we actually haven't really cleaned this out at all since we moved here. Um, the cats aren't happy that this was their out of the wind shelter, but oh well. They can always cuddle with the ducks later. <laughs> Get off my feet, I'm trying to walk. So anyway, you can see down on the ground, it's mostly dirt, but there's also some buried stone. It's even this buried metal sheet. I don't know if I'll pick it up or not. There you go. So the idea is we're gonna put a box right here, have some kind of hinge on it so we can close them up at night or, or not, we'll see. And then some kind of wall on the front of this thing. And then some area to be able to let them get their water without making a huge mess. So yeah, that's it. All right, we pulled this box in here and we found a piece of wood that will fit as a lid. And Michael is about to use 
the circular saw and he's gonna cut a door in here and we're gonna hinge it so it can come down and let the ducks out in the mornings. Okay, so we cut out this as you just saw in the clip. Then we bought some of these eye locks and the hinge here. So it's just, you know, simple door, nothing fancy. Unlocks here, pulls right out, and then that will become our ramp. So we put these boards in mostly because we had to cover the screws going through here. Yeah. But also just to give them a better grip to climb in. Exciting. Yeah, it's very exciting. <laughs> Lock them up at night from the predators. Yep. This is so we don't have to do, if you ever watched us do our chicken coop video in the beginning, we spent like an entire day sealing every little inch of it off. Oh, yeah. And we didn't want to have to do that all in here. Yeah. So yeah, up, up in here, all like this hole. So we're going to keep them in here at night to keep them safe. And they're going to be out during the day anyway. So yeah. yeah. I'm filling this up for the ducks to hopefully nest in. If they don't, that's okay. But I'm, they really like these shavings. So I'm hoping they'll think this is like a nice comfy spot. And then we're putting this horse bedding down right here for their bedding. And they're like pelleted bedding. So when they, they absorb a lot of moisture and then they kind of puff up and turn into sawdust so you can mix it in. So we're hoping that'll work. So we bought three bags to cover this area. We we'll probably will need four or five, but I'm sure somebody will come along and watch this video and you've kept ducks before and you'll see some major flaws. <laughs> Tell us, we're not perfect. This is our first time. Yep. We're I asked for advice and got like 20 different things to do and not do. It's <laughs> all <laughs> live and learn, right? That's right. So if you've used this pelletized bedding before, just let me know if you like it or not, or any tips or whatever. I've heard some people, a lot of, well, several of the things I've read, the people that use it really like it. I mean, it's only so like six like bucks a bag, and I've used two so far and almost covered the whole thing, so it's not bad. Yeah. I mean, if anybody doesn't know, if you haven't been to a park or a pond lately, <laughs> yeah. Ducks do poop like crazy. Ducks. And I won't go too science nerdy on you, but you know, birds don't have bladders and they can't like, <laughs> yeah. they can't poop solid. <laughs> so it is hard to learn how to manage that. Like the chickens, I eat poop a little smaller, but it's the same thing. So I don't know. Yeah, but it kind of it's, does clump. <laughs> it's usually like a solid piece. <laughs> yeah. Ducks just kind of spray. Yeah. That's the, that's all we'll say. So ideally, we would just concrete this whole thing in and hose it, but that's just a lot more money, a lot more time. Yeah, we're trying to go as cheap as we can and use the things that we have for the most part, so. Yeah. Hopefully. I think that's probably why most people get into homesteading. They just want to use what they have and, yep. <laughs> and we, make it We want to produce our own stuff, but we don't want to like buy all the things. Yeah. <laughs> So we'll show you the whole setup here in a second. So if you guys saw our last video, you saw our video before, I don't know anymore. Um, I was just kind of redesigning the front of our porch area and we had these landscape stones. They weren't working with the angle, so they're, they're gonna work great as kind of a barrier to keep the bedding in here a little better, especially with these high winds here. Hopefully it will help just keep the ducks from tracking it in and out. You know, it's just something about this kind of work. Like, you can work hard on something and not feel fulfilled, but just, it feels it good is. to, like, finish something like this and your ducks are enjoying it and mm -hmm. you're getting eggs from it, you know? Like, yeah, it's definitely, this is one of the best parts about homesteading, uh -huh. I think. It's not just, like, reaping the reward, like, picking the tomatoes off of your tomato plant. It's actually, like, seeing your hard work 
come to fruition. Like the the problems aren't fun for sure. I'm saying that like right. when you run into problems, that's not fun. But like to do a hard work and, and to see that you did a good job and that what its what its potential is is exciting. I can't wait to bring the ducks out here. Yeah, me too. I'm so excited. I want to bring them out today, even though it's gonna be too cold today. <laughs> so bring them out to play and then put them back. I know, it's crazy in Iowa, and probably many areas other than Iowa, but we're, we've been getting really great weather the past week, and it's going to be 72 or 3 or something later in the week. Yeah, like several days in the 70s. But the next two days are 40 as the high yeah. and 20 at night. <laughs> so they can't come outside yet, but hopefully <laughs> in a few days they'll be able to come out here. And we can't wait because... I'll let you guys in on a little secret. Don't tell the Discord group I'm in, but we have our ducks inside. Yeah. It's not a secret to you guys if you've been watching. Yeah. And it's just, that's kind of one of the reasons there's such strict poultry laws in some states is because of people that like have them indoors and they don't have it like ventilated, that you're like in their closet or something with diapers on. Nothing against you, but you know. Um, I would never want to. It's just not good for your respiratory yeah. health, and then like the poo gets the smell doesn't ever leave your house if you have them too long like that. So anyway, we just um, are ready to get them out of the house. I'm so tired of smelling them. I love them, but you stink. Thank you. Molly came to say hi. Thank you. This is our friendliest kitty of the five. She's like loves attention, loves. She's the one farm cat that's going to put in her application for house yes. cat one day and not get denied. Uh, yeah. <laughs> She's a sweetie. She's also the smallest of all of them, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I don't know. We probably like overfeed the them. Do so. you want to go ahead and show them? Go yeah, ahead. let me show you. Okay, so here's our chicken coop, and then right over here is the new duck house. So we have our little border here and our pellets. And then inside, oh, let me get out of this wind. Um, we're trying this out for them to have little nesting boxes. We just had this extra um, tire ramp over here. And I said we could probably use the other one for their swimming pool outside. So hopefully they'll use those. And then right here is their little duck house to go inside. And I just put a bunch of bedding in there. And then this top will come on here. So the only thing we still have to do is their food and water. Uh -huh. So you got a tire Yeah, I'll show thing. You. Okay. So there's this bucket thing here. It's, a, it's just a water bowl, really, but it fits right inside of your tires. And then if you don't know about ducks, like they will play and splash and spill any water solution. Mm -hmm. Just Google ducks water and yeah. you'll see all the problems that they have. So this idea, at least the tire kind of sticks out some and they kind of have to crane their necks a little bit to get there. They can't get up on the tire. So this seems like kind of the best solution other than DIY stuff, you know? Yeah, we're hoping so. It's just like 14 bucks at TSC, so. So that's for their water. Right now we're using like a milk jug thing, but we're gonna want more water out here for them. And then I think over here, we're gonna build like a little low trough on the wall. We saw a great idea from a video um, on that so that it's a kind of up high. They have to reach up high to get their food and hopefully not get it all mixed in with their water um, in the feeding area. So hopefully that'll stay nice and clean and we can feed them in the mornings and at night. And then during the day, they'll just go outside and forage and free range and we'll have like a little swimming pool out there for them but that way their swimming water is not going to be in here. We're going to try to keep this area dry and clean as much as we can. And here's where all the duck people start laughing. Yeah, <laughs> <Dry and clean. laughs> I know. <laughs> We're going to do our best attempt to minimize the gross mess the ducks make. So the next two nights will be 20 degrees ish. And then we're hoping beyond hope that we're done with freezing weather, at least mostly. And that's just what the ducks need. Like they don't have their feathers yet. They're just mostly downy. Yeah, they're starting to yeah. get them, but they can't so handle they the cold. they can't handle the cold nights. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we're hoping in a couple days we'll have them out here. And so that should be the next clip of them being out here. You guys are 
guys will be able to see them yeah, introduced to their so. new home. Yep. So cut to that. We're taking the chicks and the ducks outside. I mean, this is their first sunshine, first grass. Not really? First so we're gonna take them out to the chicken run right now, so they can just forage around. Oh yeah. Out here. Thank you, Archer. I was not planning to have the chickens out here That'd at the same fine. time, but we can always kick them out. Let's do the ducks first. Okay. Mabel. It's the first warm, not windy day. She's in heaven. Okay. All right. This may or may not be the best way to approach this. Here, I'll get your siblings out. This is the big one. The brave one. <laughs> Look at that waddle. Don't leave me, sister. That one brave one is a lot bigger than the other two have noticed. Yeah. Inside. All right, 3v3, hen versus duck. <laughs> Begin. <laughs> be oh, man. And go. Letting some chicks out? They're not competition, they're children. What you doing, Mabel? What are you doing? You have a spoon? What do you think, ducks? I think I might let the chicks out. Okay. I mean, I can stop our chickens if they're... Yeah. I mean, we're pretty expert catchers now. Okay, I'm recording this, so don't be throwing any. <laughs> They're like jumping. <laughs> Hi. Oh, well, I'm just your best friend now They're that you good. need protection. Yeah. yeah. They, they Hi. Hi, everyone. Oh, look how wow. happy they are. Oh. That makes me feel so good. It's the best thing ever. Don't go in there. I know, you really just... Ready for this. You want to provide the best kind of home for them. Well, you're not supposed to eat that, honey. Don't die on camera. <laughs> She's so happy to be outside. I know this might sound ridiculous to people, but man, when you have a long, cold winter like this, yeah, I'm well, just. She was just too little to be anything but held outside before, uh -huh. really, or put on a blanket. She can really explore and play for the first time. It's so cute to see her digging in the ground with that spoon. Are you coming over to pee? It's Archer doing some farm chores over there. Yeah. <laughs> this one chick in the sun is just all laid out. Hi, oh. kitty. Oh, man. Hi, kitty. You're a good kitty. Well... It's not very action-packed, no, but that's ducks, good. That's I didn't want it to want. be. Yeah, they, they're definitely curious, but they don't seem to really care. Yeah, everybody's claiming their own little territory right now. Oh, man. Woo. I've never flown that high before. <laughs> be careful. Be careful. <laughs> oh, that was a big step. <laughs> bark, bark. Good girl. Here's Michael going to get some barrels to block off the ducks. Coming back in his own unique way. There I go down the hill on it. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorite things is when a chicken enjoys the sunshine. Look at this one. Look at this girl laying out. It's the best. Just lay down, lay on your side. Stick your foot out. 
It feels good, huh? It feels good. Look at all these other ones. Foraging like they were meant to. I couldn't be more pleased with how this is all turning out. Like they've all just really not minded each other. The older chickens obviously are doing a lot of complaining and talking about it, but they haven't shown any aggression at all or any kind of like irritation with them. So yeah, I think it's going to be good. I think we're going to leave the ducks out here tonight at least and maybe the chicks. I said maybe we could just put this chick bed that they've been living in in with the ducks and then we'll put the heat lamp in there in case just to make sure that they're warm enough tonight. Oh, sorry. I can cannot see in the sun. That's a little better. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think they'll be able to go outside tonight, which is so nice because it's gotten to a point where like you walk in the house and you smell the ducks from that back room. So I'm ready for that to go. We've had some leaves blow in here, but they just came in for the first time. get some water. They're going to be pretty happy in here. <laughs> They're all just laying down. It's been a big day, huh? It's been a big day for you guys. 